Welcome to Strauss & Company. My name is Matthew Partridge and I'm delighted to introduce our first online auction of 2022 that will be taking place on the 14th of February for a whole week uh, and closing on Monday the 21st. In the sale, I'm pleased to present two portfolios of prints and multiple from veritable institutions, the Zeitz Museum of Contemporary Art from Africa, as well as long-running online magazine Artthrob. Starts in the late 90s, Artthrob has been running uh, as an online magazine ever since, and um, they've, been, they've released a number of portfolios. Um, in this sale, we've got uh, portfolio number two that we are selling the prints individually. This consists of artists such as Mikhail Sabotsky, Guy Tillam, Lola Vileko, Penny Siopas, and Jane Alexander. Opened in 2017, the Zeitz Museum of Contemporary Art from Africa is located at the waterfront in Cape Town and has become uh, not only a, a, a center for, for work from the continent in Cape Town, but indeed in Africa as well as the world. And the works that are featured include photographs by Andrew Pata, Nandipa Mutambo, Cyrus Kaburu, as well as uh, prints by Penny Siopas and Ruby Swinney. So the works from the Zeitz portfolio offer buyers a unique opportunity to purchase works by well-established uh, artists working from Africa and in the diaspora, um, particularly the work behind me, um, Cyrus Kaburu. This work uh, features uh, Kaburu's trademark uh, uh, glasses, um, which he, which he prefabricates himself, um, and I suppose talks about one's vision and one's gaze um, and, and reorientates the, the spectacle of looking back onto the artist himself. Conversely, um, we've got Nandipa Mtambo next to him behind me and uh, this is uh, her work that, um, in which she dresses herself up as a matador in an empty bullfighting ring. Um, speaking, I suppose, of the corporal nature of both the art of bullfighting and the significance of cattle in uh, Swazi culture that she comes from. The Andrew Pata also is one of my particular favorites and uh, it features um, works from his Flora Capensis, which is indigenous uh, flowers that Andrew recreates scenes from uh, reminiscent of Dutch still lives, but in a photographic form um, and thus, I suppose, reconfigures the way that the viewer uh, comes to appreciate both the nature of the medium being photography, as well as its subject matter, in which here we're dealing with uh, local, local indigenous flowers um, to both the Cape and South Africa, reorientating the perspective of uh, how we appreciate our local flora. The first highlight from Arthrob's Volume 2 portfolio is this Jan Alexander, Harbinger in Correctional Uniform last March. Printed in 2007, this is an iconic work of Jan Alexander's and both incorporates her use of photo montage as well as her sculptural practice that she has become most famous for. Printed in 2004 is this Mikhail Sabotsky titled Johnny Fortune. This work was originally produced and taken during his uh, final graduate year at Michaelis in which he um, was given unprecedented access to the inmates at Polesmoor Prison and proceeded to photograph and document scenes from everyday prison life. Here we see Johnny Fortune who just come from his bath in one of the tumble dryers in the prison facility. Similarly, we've got a work from Guy Tillam's famous Joburg series. Um, this work was taken in Hillbrow, um, also again uh, photographed in 2004 and speaks about, I suppose, the moments of everyday life that come to dwellers of the inner city Joburg. Another two of my personal favorites is this pair of photographs in the Arthrob edition by uh, Lola Vileko. Lola Vileko made their name in the late 90s, early 2000s, um, taking images of street photography, which uh, rely on the fashion genre. Um, these two works are of Kepi on Bree Street and another favorite of mine, Nono. An anomaly in the Arthrop portfolio is this work by Penny Siopas, Shame Pools, which is uh, unlike the other works that rely on photography or take their point of departure from photography, this is instead a print in three plates, a printed at the artist's press in 2004. 